drink water. They don't 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 drink water. Toxic. Try to find a way out. Which is this one here. What to do right now is to, uh, uh, together with UNEP and Kiriti, Kenya Industrial Research and Development Institute, who has been a key partner for this development process, and with the support of Mr. Kandari, the owner of this, we started a public private partnership and requested one of the NGOs in Germany, uh, Deutsche Gesellschaft for Son and Energie, the DGS. Uh, to help us with the design of a rotaler model uh, biogas digester and that is how this whole uh, program started here in Dagoretti. But even before that, the partnership with DGS started about uh, three, four, three and a half years ago. We have already uh, completed two other biogas digesters of a similar nature. Uh, this is the most improved version and uh, we hope that the future digesters that we implement in Kenya would be uh, better uh, would be as good as this or even better uh, one of the distinct advantages here is that we do not use any electricity from the grid to run this uh, this this facility here it is completely green energy using solar thermal for heating water and using solar panels in order to generate the electricity so that the water pumps can run without being dependent on the grid uh, with those those are the few uh, you know important milestones as far as the uh, development of the project is concerned and uh, with those few <coughs> words I would like to now request the Director General of UNIDA who is who's here on an official mission to now I hope that we can see this program develop to that time so you have another commercial uh, component to this but you have that reach into the households but to do that also you need better cook stoves you need to refine this gas so that it is pure or less carbon and so on I wanted to mention that because those are global issues we're discussing. The meeting that UNEP and Jeff hosted, where we have a number of ministers from East Africa, that's why I'm late coming here. We're looking at this broader issue of energy access in Africa, energy for development, energy for water supply, energy for economic growth and development, and also general energy security, and also what I've mentioned about energy access for the poor. This is just a little component of trying to apply one of these technologies. But in the same vein, we're looking at solar, wind, geothermal. These are all resources that are important for Africa because Africa remains the most energy poor continent. And it's not by coincidence that we are the most least industrialized. It is also not an accident that we are the most poor in terms of uh, income, income level. So you see these linkages. These are the issues we address together with UNEP and other agencies, we hope this project can be a demonstration that it is doable, it is not expensive, the knowledge systems are around in the world, can our people, our governments and others tap into that global knowledge system to begin to apply these solutions because it is very urgent. The so question is can we replicate more of this so you bundle them as a portfolio of investments, can you scale this up a little bigger? and then probably also show the agricultural benefits for carbon sequestration. Yes. Then you can qualify. Okay. Yeah. So um, at this scale, no. But a few more of these or bigger ones, yes, they could qualify.
When I guess my staff heard here, because they are local here, that you know these slaughterhouses will be closed, we just think about it. There are people who work in these slaughterhouses. The people who raise the cattle also are looking at the, these markets. You can see the ripple effect if the slaughterhouses are closed. And UNEP being concerned about environment, we got to, our people got together to say, hey, how do we ensure that the waste can be utilized, given the fact that we know that in Asia and in Europe they're using waste for energy already. So this is how the interest came about. So it is out of true interest in, in helping to deal with the waste problem that the environmental agency was facing, but also the opportunity we see, that there are opportunities now with new technologies or knowledge from other places where we can use waste for energy. Uh, the grid became a hub for meat, and we had a lot of people coming in the morning to buy and, 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 and sell. And eventually we ended up with a lot of solid and liquid affluents, which were fighting uh, their way into the Nairobi River. Uh, th and this is what prompted us to look for ways to mitigate against this environmental degradation. As you are aware, and I'm sure you are here, when we were closed down by NEMA, um, that was the start and this is what provoked us to start on this uh, biodigester. What difference has it made in your opinion? So well, to me, I think it's met, it's beyond my expectations. Uh, we are not able to treat everything, but whatever it is treating, we, we are getting gas energy, which is profitable. We are also getting fertilizers, which we are prying, like this rounds, we are prying that liquid fertilizer and it appears to be very good. I'm sure with a bit more research, it will become a center of fertility for our agricultural rats.